Governor LePage named Dr. Robert Hassan acting education commissioner one week ago. Hassan is the state's fifth acting education commissioner since 2014, the third since lawmakers threatened to block the governor's appointment of Dr. William Beardsley last year. Even critics of the LePage administration are lauding the appointment of Hassan, who has been a teacher, principal, and superintendent. Lois Kilby Chesley is the head of the state's largest teachers union. And there's no one that's more highly qualified than he is in this state. But Hassan will likely be replaced in six months, just like the acting commissioners before him. Governor LePage is bypassing the normal legislative approval process to keep Beardsley calling the shots. Well, the process of having six-month stints is um, really ridiculous. I mean, we have someone here who's very qualified, and yet we look down the road and in six months someone else is going to come in. Democratic Senate Minority Leader Justin Alphonse serves on the governor's Blue Ribbon Commission and says things are slipping because of the way the administration is stringing together acting commissioners. And this is part of uh, the governor's uh, legacy as he creates um, unpredictability, he creates uh, chaos. Uh, at times in state government. It's unfortunate. I've used the term uh, commissioner du jour. Republican State Representative Paul Stearns is a former school superintendent. Like everyone we talked to today, Stearns praises the leadership team at the State Department of Education, but Stearns says communication suffers when there isn't a permanent leader articulating the department's message. I think that uh, the Department of Education is one of the most critical departments in our state government, and it uh, it demands a uh, permanent full-time commissioner. I don't agree with the governor's process at all. The LePage administration never responded to our requests for comment today, and while top education department staffers filled the room at today's commission meeting, none of them would agree to talk to us on camera about the commissioner's post. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.